get ready with me for work. Um, ignore those clothes in the background. I really don't care. Let me give y'all a update of things that have recently been happening. I recently just got a new phone. So that's what I'm recording on. I got a new I got an iPhone 14 now. I used to have an iPhone XS. I'm tired. Like, the lady at my job is on vacation. So, me and the other guy, who usually work at night, we gotta split up the day shifts. Well, I'm coming in all this week at, um, all this week I'm coming in at, the, at that job at, yeah, I'm not gonna forget. And at 4.30, so yesterday was Monday, I had to call out at my other job because I had to show up there. Because the guy wanted to keep procrastinating on July 6th, it was a twice concert. The way getting there was fine. Like, and I'm so mad because I'm, everything's about, I'm about to say ties into me getting a new phone. So the concert was so good. The night we got home no the day after we got home from the concert i um put all my videos on google drive also i have to switch out my purse because this is the bag i use for the concert and like where i work at in the morning and where i work at in the morning it's like no really privacy from customers the lockers are like right by the bathroom so literally, anybody could walk by the locker, open it, and take your stuff. I'm happy they don't be doing that, but they could, and I don't like that. So, especially with having a clear bag, so then everybody can see what you put in there in the first place. Later on that night, because it was working when I was at work, it was working when I got home. Later on that night, I was on FaceTime with my boyfriend. My phone got hot. My phone always get hot when I'm on FaceTime. But this time, it turned itself off. It never usually turned itself off. Like, turned itself off, Apple logo show and everything. So, it got stuck in this, like, this little loop. Like, this loop where the Apple logo will show. Like, it'll give you hope that it's about to turn back on. And then, it it glitch. You see, like, a little bit of green, the screen glitch. And then, it's, it, it's go back to the Apple logo. And then when I did like the, the little hard reset, which is pressing the up button and the down button, and then press the power button, it just say plug it up to your computer to restore. So I plug it up to my computer to restore it. Yo, I didn't. I was so tired last night. I didn't even wrap my hair. Like I always wrap my hair before I go to bed. I didn't even wrap my hair. But yeah, plug it up to your computer to restore it y'all see my lace like it's literally lifting and it only been six days usually my wigs last me a week so i know the beauty supply store i'm never buying do not buy no hair glue from them i don't care they are not to be trusted oh, that's fuck that motherfucker back there is not real and basically my phone wasn't turning back on it wasn't turning back on i tried to restore it on my computer it said it was an error so I'm Googling, oh, what to do, what to do. So then it was like, okay, here's the software. It's free to download, but it charges you $40 once you download it. Oh, wow. I'm not paying $40. So went to the Apple store to see if they could fix it. We had the same issue. So y'all like how icy this is too? Like, yo, I toned this hair like me doing everything i did to this hair is gone and that phone is gone i didn't back it up i don't know i never back up my phones I don't so I, I that's my fault but also <clears throat> i didn't expect it to just stop breaking like I, this part right here you see i was lifting it's not supposed to be lifting but i love i love the way the hair the hair like is soft turned up when i reinstall it it's gonna look better but yeah, basically, they was like the best option for me was to trade it in. So yeah, that's how I got this phone. The quality on this phone is way better. I did not know how shitty the quality of that phone was. But basically, obviously, I'm getting a newer phone. It costs more. My phone bill is more now because it's also paying off some 
of the thought of getting a new phone because I had traded in my old, my old phone. It said the value was three hundred fifty. Let me see how much I paid for the old phone. But yeah, I'm just been hella tired. So and I'm mad like because I had this content, this weird content. I was gonna make. Well, I had to, I already made it. I just needed to edit it. I can't edit it because it's not in my cloud. It's all gone. And I'm mad because I had another video of me unboxing my candy bombs, which is um twice light stick for the concert, and that's gone too. So it's like, and like I could record it again, but it's not the same. I already went to the concert and used it. Like it's not. 100% authentic like it was the first time like all right y'all i know i was going a little get ready with me earlier today but some shit happened at work that i want to talk about because i can talk about whatever i want and this is my channel so my job my first job of the day they are so weird and i'm not talking about like the people i work with every day like the managers whoever the fuck they are so weird like and like say that's like imagine if amazon did some dumb shit like this and like this is dumb i feel like i mentioned it before but i don't know if i ever posted this so basically the manager um the manager caught himself like they put up a ring camera like in a spot where you can see where people make food and you can see where people make the drinks which is and this this is weird because the whole store has cameras the whole store has cameras from the front to the back to the all the way in the inside bag to the bathroom it has cameras everywhere like it's no blind spots this whole store has cameras so what's weird is you put you specifically put up a camera. Mind y'all, this camera been there since like what we in July. I'm gonna say April maybe. Yeah, maybe April something. I don't really remember. But it's been up for a while. Like when I first started here, it wasn't up. They moved it up. I don't know why they just very weird like why are you like it's cameras already up in here it's like y'all y'all want to spy on y'all employees like that's so weird to me like you just don't trust that we're gonna be working like it's weird it's weird i don't care how you, if you try to justify it in the comments it's weird so today mind y'all the camera been out for a while they ain't never say nothing though and like that's the type of camera it's a ring camera so they can hear you if you say something. And I've been talking shit about the camera. And I don't give a fuck because why you have this camera up just to spy on your employees? Like, it's weird. That, that will never be justified in my mind. If it's already cameras up in the place, why did you add an extra one just to watch everybody working? Like, that is so weird. So instead of you being whoever you are, the manager or whatever, breaking and doing your job, you decide to look on the camera feed to, to check us out. That is weird. If you really want to know if we work and come inside the building. That's so weird. We don't got a camera spying on you saying if you work here, how we know you, how we know you not on your phone. How so this way I So the girl was on her phone. She was on her phone by the register. And my job, when there's nothing to do, we just, most of the time we be either like just wiping stuff down Sometimes we do be standing around, but I mean, and it's tying to the fact that jobs really want you to be miserable at work. I think I should be fine on my head when I do this. I don't need to be miserable at work. I, I can get, why can't I be happy and get my work done? Why I gotta be miserable? Like you, like, no. But I'm saying, when we don't have nothing to do for real, yeah, we be standing around because there's nothing to do. And I also, they gave us a list of chores to do every day. Um, I had a chore to do on Monday, but I had called out of work on Monday. I wasn't able to come in. 
I had to go to my other job. If y'all really wanted it done, y'all would've never called, y'all would've never wrote my name on there in the first place. Because I called out right as the store, like I, almost, not even a whole hour into the store being open. Because the store opened at 7 o'clock. So I called out at 7.40 something. So, yeah, basically, I saw what Troy they gave me yesterday. And I said I wasn't doing it. I didn't say that out loud, but I thought it to myself. Like, bitch, I'm not doing this shit today. Y'all want, if y'all really wanted it done, y'all would have put whoever was there, somebody else to do it. The fuck? And, like, and mind y'all, the thing that I had to do was move out the thing that holds, it's like, move out this big, big ass thing and clean behind it. Which, which is fine. Like, I don't have a problem doing it. But I, but they gave me that same text today, so it's given like I'm gonna give this to Jonay because I feel like she wanna do it and like yeah I did my test today but I'm not doing that shit for Monday I don't care they could be mad all they want I'm not doing it I wasn't here on Monday if y'all really wanted it done y'all would have got somebody else to do it what she say uh uh get somebody else to do it <laughs> get somebody else to do it. Back to the camera situation. Early, I was talking shit to one of the shift leaders about it because it's weird. Why are you recording us? I mean, not recording us. Why are you watching us? You, what are you supposed to be doing, Mr. CEO or whatever the fuck? What are you supposed to be doing? Because you're not supposed to be watching us. But basically, this will happen. So the girl was on her phone at the front. Whatever. Whoever been on their phone, I really don't give a fuck. And they like, it's too much standing around. Like, they want people to be miserable at work so bad. And it's like, no. If everybody did their chore, what else is they going to do? But other than, like, wipe down the stuff. Like, no. If I'm done my chore and I'm done wiping everything down, then yeah, I'm going to stand around. No, I do not care. I'm on the clock. It's not my fault. Ain't nobody ordering shit. And then they're going to say, if you go, you not. First of all, they're going to text and agree me. Mind you, I just got a new phone, like I told y'all. So I ain't read down with me. And I, I honestly don't plan on it. Because I, I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say. Because the one girl was over there texting and agree me. But I'm thinking... Like when my phone was um before my phone broke, I'm thinking, girl, isn't this your last week and you ain't even show up to work last week? Period. So this isn't this your second week of your two week um you know notification that you're not gonna be coming back? Why are you still trying to tell motherfuckers what to do? Like you're not about to leave. That's weird. It's like you talk about they don't pay you enough, but you still try to act like you run the show when you don't. Because when the last time you showed up for a shift, because she wasn't in there while I was in there, which was four days last week. Like, every shift she had, she had somebody else take it. And you still in the group, you trying to tell people what to do? Like, girl, you don't even work in a The shift lead that came in when the other one left today, he had got on the phone. Basically, somebody called him. One of the managers had called him was like, oh, like, he said that, at first I thought he was joking, but he was being serious. He said something about, you know, the girl being on her phone, like, why she on her phone, especially at the front. I don't know why the fuck she was on her phone at the front as well. But regardless, I, I can't control people. I don't give a fuck what they be doing. But yeah, and he like... There's people standing around. Like, nigga, there's nothing to do. Like, they want us to be so miserable at work. It's crazy. Our work is to make the drinks and make the food whenever the people order it. Not to deep clean the whole fucking restaurant. They got cameras. Imagine Amazon, because you everybody know they got cameras everywhere at Amazon. Imagine if you the type you the person that um put the tape on the box and shit. Imagine they put a camera just to watch you doing that. Like a ring camera at that. So it's like 
Y'all really installing your own fucking camera just to spy on police? That's weird. You worry about the wrong shit. Like somebody kept, somebody kept stealing food. Um, somebody kept like we make the food for the people, and we put it over there where the online food go. Somebody kept coming in and stealing it. They ain't catch them, but but no. Let me worry about my employees over here on the phone. Then they like the man gonna say he happy the other guy quit. The one guy quit because he feel like he get he brought a bunch of bad habits to the crew. And I, in my opinion, I don't think he did. I feel like in my opinion, he gave people more. He made people more comfortable with speaking out to the managers, and they don't like that. Yeah, because the one manager was rude as shit. So yeah, ain't nobody in here your kid. So it's like you talk to me disrespectfully. I'm gonna talk to you disrespectfully. You don't have respect for me, I don't have respect for you. And that's the end of it. But people will see my hair and they say, Oh, your boyfriend took it. Oh, no, what they say? Oh, your boyfriend treating, treating you well. Like, nigga, I did this shit myself. Why are you assuming it's a man? I did this shit myself. I bought, I, I, well, I didn't buy the wig. It was free, but I got this shit myself. She telling her friends like I ain't the man like fuck you me yeah I'm so mad like I really Ooh. lost all the footage of me like toning because it was gonna be like in depth well not even that in depth because it was pretty easy to do and it's pretty easy to tone if you paint it on well mind y'all I'm saying that but mind y'all this is only 18 inches y'all this glue sucks so bad and like I can't even blame it on the heat I can't blame it on nothing but the glue and the hair store that sold it to me. Okay, so the curls are dry now. I don't like spraying it with even because it gives it this hard ass film. Like, it's all clumped up together. Like, look, that's all clumped together. Like, clumped, like clumped, clumped, clumped. Baby, loving you is such a Baby, loving you is such a I don't want nobody, what I just found I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't I'm taking my brush and I'm just gonna start brushing this side over over to this side so this side where is the longer part I just start brushing it over not going all the way through to the end but just brushing so where I feel like it's over so it's all on one side now. I'm brushing down the middle, like this middle part right here at the um, center of my head. Brushing that down and also brushing it over. You see how that just lifted up? You wanna keep it brushed now. Make sure you brush that part out too. So you're brushing it over, brushing it over and brushing it down. And then I scoop my brush underneath when I get it where I want it to be. And here, this is where I put my first clip, right here. And this one, I'm gonna put one right here so I don't have to keep holding this, you see? I'm gonna put one you see how where this part is sticking up you put one right here and like angle it downwards so it the hair lays downwards Wait, that, that didn't work i'm gonna use a smaller one for that a little bit so yeah if you want to tie down a knot band you can I usually don't because I don't sleep with a melt band on. I sleep with just my bonnet on. But yeah, and this is how I sleep. I just sleep like this. My bonnet stretches a lot, so I just stretch out my bonnet and put it on over top of it like this. And boom, it's time for bed.